Welcome to Andrew's Art Duchy. It's been a minute since I posted to YouTube. Uh, I apologize. But I'm back today with a short little video on how I clean my vintage silver plate items. If you're anything like me, maybe you recently started thrifting and noticed that thrift stores are packed with these as they were a super popular gift item in the 1930s and 40s, but are not worth much, which is great for me because I appreciate this aesthetic. Uh, the one downside to collecting silver plate though is it does tarnish quite fast and requires a bit of maintenance. However, today I'm going to share with you my relatively hassle-free way to get rid of that and I actually find it fun and relaxing. So without further ado, let's get to it. So to start out, I want to grab a large container or bowl and I'm going to line the bottom of that with some aluminum foil. And to that, I'm going to be adding in a bit of salt as well as a generous amount of baking soda. Some people like to have an exact ratio of water to baking soda. I just kind of eyeball it and it's always been fine. Next, I've got a couple of pots of water on the stove and I'm gonna bring them to a boil. And by the way, I just wanna add that tarnish or patina rather is beautiful in its own way does add a lot of character to a piece, so just be positive that you want to go ahead with this process before you start. Anyway, let's start with some of the smaller objects here, and I'm going to pour my boiling water into the pot. And I want to let everything sit for about two minutes. Now, if you don't have a big enough pot, like I don't, you do have to go in with some metal tongs and kind of rotate everything around, making sure everything is fully submerged at one point or another in this process. All the tarnish is really starting to just kind of dissolve away. These spoons are actually from my grandma, whom I never got to meet. So they've got about 40 years of grime on them, and I'm really excited to see them clean and sparkling. So I like to keep everything in there for about 10 to 15 minutes, at which point I'll remove it and place it onto a dry towel cloth. I'll kind of pat dry everything real quick and wrap it if I'm not immediately ready to go to the next stage, because water is the enemy of silver plate and you don't want things to stay wet for too long. Some people actually like to leave it in the solution a lot longer, um, and they like to skip this next part, which is polishing. Personally though, I feel you kind of have to go in and do a light polish to get a really nice gleam and glisten to the piece. So I want to go in and usually I spend about five minutes or so on each piece, just gently going over everything as to not damage it and remove any silver plate and removing that stubborn tarnish. Just look at all this beauty that was hiding underneath that grime. Next up we have this neat Chippendale pattern uh, serving tray. And I wanted to show it to you because here you can really see the effect of the solution. This is only after two minutes. And I wanted to show you this piece because this one was a lot more stubborn. I think it had seen much more use than the other items. So the grime was just really kind of ingrained on it. Here I am polishing away. And I actually ended up having to do this process two or three times. And I wanted to point out, you can actually see here due to wear and tear, the silver plate has rubbed off in a few little spots. There's nothing you can do about that. You have to get it replated. Just something to think about when you're shopping for your own pieces. But I don't mind a few nicks and I am really happy with getting that tarnish off and it's looking so much better. For my final two pieces, I'll be moving to the sink. Watch out for that scalding steam. I actually just about always use a sink for this as it's very deep and you can add more hot water if things aren't completely submerged. And again, it's the same process as before, just with a more elaborate piece like the candelabra, 
I'm really gonna have to get in there and spend a good amount of time polishing the nooks and crannies. And that's it. Let me know in the comments if you preferred the antiquated look or the shinier polished finish. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon where I have additional videos on things like baking, furniture restoration, little things to help spur the creativity. So I will see you again soon. And until then, bye-bye.